Good morning, Janelle. Good <laughs> Christine. How are you going? Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much for coming and having conversation about your experience on the Remedial Hot Stones course. Um, first of all, would I just like you to introduce yourself, say where you're from and what clients you see and what motivated you to do this particular course? Anyways. Yeah, look, you're welcome. I'm glad to um, be able to have the opportunity to um, put my view across, I guess, on the course. Well, for me, for people who don't know who I am, um, Janelle Stanford, I'm from um, Bymount near Roma in rural Queensland. Um, my husband and I, we have two children and we um, own and run a boar goat and grazing enterprise at Bymount, as well as a hay and grazing property over near Gympie at a little place called Lower Wonga. And then on top of all that, I own and operate a massage and allied health practice in Roma, which extends our services out to all surrounding towns, which can be one to two hours away from Roma, and then further afield to the whole of the Maranoa region, which takes in right from Toowoomba and emeralds and or areas if people know where they are and way out to Charleville um, in the west. Um, my background is that I'm a midwife um, and uh, also have done over 30 years of orthopaedics and theatre nursing as well and along with that I did training for around massage and kinesiology and a few other little tits and bots, I suppose, um, to basically have my title as a remedial practitioner, um, I guess, over the last um, 35 years. So I've had huge experience in both the health and well-being um, arenas and particularly focused previously on injury management and rehab and people with chronic pain. But since doing my midwifery and particularly in the last five plus years, I've kind of try to divert my focus more into the perinatal and pregnancy infant field. Um, I did some tongue tie and lactation training. So another reason why I've kind of diverted into that. And, but yeah, um, I still tend to see a lot of acute and chronic injury people as well, because I get a lot of referrals from specialists and doctors and other um, allied health practitioners as well, um, just because they know of me and I've worked with some of them previously as well. Yeah, as well. Um, Thank you, Janelle. And such a such a diverse and interesting background as well. Just so so wonderful. Um, so right now you finished up the remedial hot stone at the end of last year, didn't you? Yes. Um, how has that fitted into what you do? Yeah, so I've um I found the course really good. I'm probably a bit disjointed in my replies, but um the course was I guess um resonated with me because I've actually used hot stones majority of my time in practice which like I said is more than 30 years um the first few years we probably didn't but then I did and even though I used them as a tool it was probably more using them from just a heating and a bit of relaxation kind of technique I guess um, and also I found it beneficial to my hands because I I do do and I was doing um extremely long days um which I wouldn't recommend on the um, general run of the mill <laughs> but um, in saying so my um, when I've seen some of the information about your course I thought oh look you know I'd really like to do that into seeing what I could bring to my practice that was a little bit different than what I'd done before I guess um, and I found that the benefits have really been um, a change in my technique um, the way that I probably use my stone, I probably use it more direct and specific now than just having it in my hand and sliding it around. I actually um, probably use it more directly 
as a further extension of my hand or my things in the trigger points, but it's probably more purposeful than what I did before I did the um, hot stone training with you. That's really cool. It's amazing. I'm intrigued to know that the techniques have changed and things like that, the way that you're actually using them. That's yeah. fascinating. And how has it been on your hands, Janelle? Have you noticed any difference? Yeah, um, probably the, like obviously in my first years of um, doing massage, you know, mine was a deep tissue trigger pointing, you know, we were all there sort of bashing lots of tissue around, <laughs> to put it politely. Um, and of course, I've transitioned from that myself over the years, but the use of the stones specifically since doing the training has really changed the amount of pressure I use, um, probably the physical exertion of myself. I'm still working, of course, but um, yeah, I've found that just an overall benefit from myself beyond my hands and my forearms has actually been the rest of my body from a postural point of view as well that's great amazing um let me see um so am I right in thinking you 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 did use them before yes that's I right yeah did. yeah yeah so quite different the two ways that you've been using them yeah yeah certainly um a couple of bits probably similar but um yeah just more purposeful of what I'm actually doing and in in the training itself there was a section specifically on um shoulders and I just had a run of people with shoulder issues so it it was just a bit of timing and it worked out perfectly and just the different positionings that I could do with people in a sitting position or a lying position and just use some more direct um, techniques in and around the shoulder um, beyond what I was already doing, I found it yeah, made a huge benefits to their outcomes and was able to actually implement some of the stretching things beyond that as well. Oh, awesome. That's that's great. That's really cool. I'm, I'm delighted for you. <laughs> That's really great. That's lovely, lovely feedback. Um, okay. And what did your clients make of the the stones? Obviously, they'd had them before and things, but did you introduce the cold as well? Like, how did that all pan out? Yeah. So, um, obviously, I had a few new clients as well that had never experienced either um, with me or with or without stones. Um, but yeah, the introduction of the variation of techniques and then, yes, um, the cold stones as well um, has, yeah, they, they love it. It's kind of, they think, oh, especially with the cold because that's still one area that, you know, if, um, you kind of get used to once again. It's a very change of um, habit, good or bad. Um, <laughs> but even if they're good habits, they're hard to, um, when you're just used to doing it, a bit like cleaning your teeth and get up, do it. But, you know, you go in and using those techniques, you have to think, oh, I oh, forgot about using this one now. And you go over and you'll have your cold stones as well. So probably about 25% of the time on different things, I might use my cold stones, but I'm still more focused on the hot, um, but definitely transitioning to changing some of that as well for some specific conditions. Um, but the clients love it. They um, just, yeah, say that the they've never had that because I think in even in our location, we are the only people who use um, hot stones or cold stones in our um, treatments and plenty, obviously, other places, but for our location. Um, so that kind of is one little niche area, I guess, um, if you put it like that, or technique area that we can market a bit more on, um, directly advertise about the benefits of um, the stones and what they can do um, for the person as well and for their injuries or helping with rehab and stuff post-surgery as well, um, which I've done also. Yeah, that's great. 
that's great that's so cool I you know I'm a huge fan of the stones um, <laughs> and you live in a very hot area of Australia <laughs> how has that been tell us yeah so like even in recent um, weeks it's been 40 plus and our heat is usually extremely dry like you know poor you know you just sort of like got that um dry burning sort of heat we've actually had a little bit more humidity which is a bit different for us because um and that humidity as people who know who live in those areas it's a lot more stickier and uh, just sort of draining so people are coming in and walk in the front door we've got this lovely nice balanced air conditioning and they go oh that's so right in here and you're taking them down and then next thing you're whacking out the boiling hot stone so you say I know it's 40 degrees outside but this is the benefit of you say, oh and they go oh I'm melting to the table so, <laughs> so yes we realize that it's a whole variation of the difference from the extreme heat in our environment to what we're doing when they're applied to our bodies so. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Because I'm, I'm sure that is a question that does crop up for many people. Because um, yeah. traditionally, we kind of packed up our stones in the summer and put them off and brought them out in the winter. But that's not the case for you. You're using them all yeah. year round. Yeah, all year round. Yeah. That's so, great. It's wonderful. That's that's my hope and dream because then you get the benefit from them. Um. <laughs> and we've even um, like as you know, there's only myself and I have one other massage therapist been trying for lots of years to get another person. But you know, hey, so if anyone anyone's yeah. interested, <laughs> why not? <laughs> had like I have other visiting allied health practitioners, um, chiropractor, osteos. Um, physios as well and I actually have um identified with them the benefits of um using some of these tools and stuff as well and um so they have at times was engaged slightly in saying can we just have a little play with your stones and like, yes absolutely like you know and so we keep directing to say look you know the benefits of doing this and what you can actually help your client with as well so we're trying to increase the footprint of <laughs> who we have, you know, engaging with you, hopefully, because, um, yeah, yeah, your course um, particularly, and I have, like I said, previously done other courses. I just found the, for myself, um, the content, um, the bit of revision components that come within your course as well. Now, you know, I've done five years of anatomy and physiology, but it's still great to sometimes hone in on some of those um, bits that our brain doesn't always um, see even though we know them um, yeah we're not always uh, dealing with that particular area or applying it in such a way so sometimes the revision which helps then extend through the whole body I believe you know is beneficial and particularly with your course that's one I found was great um, that revision but also just the and a direct um visual application with your videos but also the stuff that you did directly um was I'm a very visual learner so for me um I found it great um and it was easy to take it straight from that classroom or the video room and um apply it straight away in your practice and um yeah that in itself I think is um great when we're you know doing training because our time and the people presenting is um you know we're all on a schedule so it's great to be able to take something and apply it straight away <clears throat> even if it's only in the initial learning phase but we can then progress it further on um, and I found yeah with your stuff as I said previously it just all gelled pretty quickly and um, was able to make those changes and implement it straight away that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Chanel. That's really, I'm sure that's going to be really useful to other therapists to hear your experience of the remedial uh, hot stones program. So really appreciate it. Um, is there anything else about the training that you found particularly good or challenging? Um, probably the most um challenging bit as was was probably about 
not letting go completely, but letting go of some of the things that I already knew and that I had, you know, pretty much done for more than 25 or 30 years, like you're just doing it that way. And it was to accept that focus on something new or modified to what I was used to, I guess, um, that would actually in, be a benefit to myself and also to my clients. Um, and as I said before, habits, even if they're good habits in that we're used to doing a particular thing that has great benefits, sometimes it's great to just be able to let yourself actually shift your mindset to engage in that fully and then retrain yourself a bit <laughs> to actually use that specific thing and then we can extend on where now I probably do a bit of a mix of modification of stuff obviously I'd done the scar training with you before which I found totally profound and it's been a magnificent addition to my practice um, particularly and the modification and the integration of both those that training of the hot stone hot and cold stones and the scar training for me and my practice is I don't know world renowned probably I'd have to say <laughs> and <laughs> people come far and wide to um, engage in specifically the scar training because once again in my area I am the only person who does that but my background of my experience, particularly in the medical field and then obviously my years of practice here and reputation, I'm pleased to say is, you know, right up there. And I'm thankful for that support of myself, but also my business over the years. And having these additional skills and learnings has yeah, just added to that um, for us in the community. That's so good. So amazing. And yeah, you know, you you are an incredible practitioner, Janelle. And I'm not surprised people are traveling far and wide uh, because you've invested so much time and energy in your skills and education across, you know, three decades. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like you've just sat there and gone, yeah, this is the only way I'm going to do things. You have just changed and evolved and added and added and added. So I'm not surprised that people are coming. So, yeah, it's yeah. great. And I'm really um, privileged that our courses have added to uh, what you offer to people. It's really fantastic. So absolutely, um, yeah, privileged to hear that. So thank you for well, that's great. Um, I, I guess, um, you know, the, the big question is, would you recommend this course to other therapists? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would certainly recommend all the stuff I've done so far with you, um, particularly. Um, but yeah, I just think that the value in not just talking about dollars, I'm talking about, you know, and I I don't have a, a problem at all paying for training. I, you know, we sometimes have to balance that in our budgeting because it's extremely important to um, have that continual education and, and relearnings or supporting our current learnings and practice. And it just helps us keep just that little bit above the line in that our um people can see that we're really actually keeping up to date and putting ourselves out there to learn new stuff. And I just found that the courses that you provide, the content is A1. It's magnificent. I, like I said, I've done five years of anatomy and physiology in learning at university level and, of course, then put that into direct practice in theatres and stuff like that. But it's wonderful to come and, and the way that you put it on paper or on a slide or whatever it is, it's just really the visual aspect of that plus the information provided, both written and verbal, really actually puts that picture right in your mind for your memory recall of, of that. And, yeah, and that certainly helps around your ability to see why something happens for a person and what we can actually do and why we're treating it in that particular way. So from the content perspective, I think it's marvellous. And the presentation of that 
even on the online stuff. I've done lots of courses online, but when you first say, oh, it's seven weeks, you know, you think, oh, seven weeks. So your mind just kind of puts it in a whole context of thinking every day for seven weeks, but it's one day, but it's online, but the rest is you're actually integrating that learning straight directly into your practice. So it's not really actually extra work or extra time that you're pulling out of your day because you're actually folding it straight in and learning as we go along. So that as a second point is, um, yeah, certainly um, makes the learning much more um, forgiving on our time. Um, But um, you can, yeah, kind of consolidate it all as you go along as well. So, um, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you so, so much, Janelle. It's really wonderful to have this conversation today. And I'm sure uh, your experience will help other therapists understand what it is that we're offering and help them come to a decision that suits them. So thank you so much. You know, um, yeah, like I say, I appreciate you asking me to take the time because it is great for people to hear about these things and um yeah like you know there's lots of different training and like I said I've done quite a few different things and we have to find what we feel fits for us but it's great to get something that has such good content and like I say is able to be applied directly into your practice is um really gives you value for your time and money and yeah and you're an extremely good presenter and you've been a practitioner for a long time and your experience in that comes out in the presentation of the training as well so that helps us actually engage more fully um, with you as well so um, yeah um, it's been great um, knowing you and engaging with you and I look forward to um, many more years of that. (laughs) Yes I look forward to that too Janelle thank you so so much it's just lovely to have this conversation today. No worries thank you.